Good day, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and welcome to another episode of Hattrick Manager Game. It's been nearly three months since our last upload, 2nd of November, I think it was, where we was having mid-season struggles. I do apologise for such a delay on our upload, but we have been busy, obviously, doing for Road to Glory on FIFA, and lately doing Football Manager, where we've got some how-to videos we've got our chef wednesday let's play we've got our barcelona save so i've been very busy but i'm keen to get cracking on hat trick it's a slow game it's a patient game but if you get into it it can be really fun now we've got over a million pounds in the bank i think it's time to bring in another player maybe review our youth intake and we might have to do a rebuild so let's go find we out. We always do. We start in our office. I've got 12 news. I have. I knew that I was going to do a video sooner or later. Um, I have kept what I can. As you can see, this dates back 21st of January. Oh, is that it? Okay, it's not that far back. Maybe there's some older ones within here. Let's let's have a look, shall we? What have we got? So local ladders. Uh, today we have a few things to mention about local circles, a mobile app feature that lets you connect to other managers in your city. Okay, sounds good, sounds good. I don't know. I think our news is all over the place. Let's, let's just review it. Let's just pretend that we've just started fresh. So how did we do last season? I left it that we was struggling mid-season. We just couldn't make any inway. I mean, we can't break for top four. And I still think that that's happening with us now. But let's just break it down just to give you a quick update of what happened. So let's break it down by cup because obviously friendlies doesn't mean a thing. So there's no point looking at friendlies here. Cup we did quite well. I mean for second tier for cup. First tier we went out first round, lost 5-0. Um, and then we progressed 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 rounds in for second tier of cup and then lost 6-5. Very, very close game. Very unlucky. I even believe that might went extra time. Oh, it's a penalty shootout. That's why it's 6-5. So it actually ended off 1-0. Then we lost on a penalty shootout. Well, I can't argue at that. Don't care about any of these. I'm in league. Uh, so what way are we doing this? So it's work our way up. So started off, draw one, lost one. And then there's our mid-season struggles. I mean, we was playing all top four in mid-season. I think that really gets rid of our momentum. Shame that we can't play like a bottom team in between. Maybe just help us out. But 5-0, 0-0, 8-4, 3-1, 4-1, 2-0. Then we won, lost. Then we start playing guys at our bottom. And then we went into playoffs again. To relegation playoffs, basically. And we played a bot team. Now, I don't know if it was a bot team at the time we played them. But as you can see, we absolutely dominated. I scored our own goal, you divvy. Well, why don't you put that on their side as a red? Or OG? That, that, yeah, that doesn't make sense. Why is he on my side? Oh, well. Uh, yeah, confusing. It's fine. Anyway, we, we won 3-1. We stay in the league. So how are we doing this season? As I said, it feels like that. No change. We're sitting fifth. Just like last season, just like the season before, I just can't break that fourth. And yes, you can argue I have not been really paying that much attention this season. Because when you're just doing the same thing every season and the game is slow in for first place, it's very hard to be motivated. That's, that's the honest truth. It is very hard to be motivated. It's great at the start. I love hat trick at the start, building it, getting out of Division 6. And then maintaining your position, Division 5, and then maintaining position, Division 5, and then maintaining Division... But that's down to me. Because at the end of the day, it's a game, and games can be broken, games can be won. I have the patience. I don't mind playing this on the long run. I mean, I did set out a plan, and I just haven't set out a plan. And I think that's what I need to do now. I have been going in when I remember to do my games. As you can see, I went in the other day, just put my friendly one in. I forgot completely... To do my game against Ifly FC, but to be fair, I was probably going to lose it anyway. We lost 3 0. We had for possession, we even had the majority of 54% of chance distribution, but we didn't score. And now maybe that's because they have better strikers than me. I don't know. And we can have a look at that. I mean, good thing about this game is that you can go, you can delve into the stats and compare yourself with leagues. 
Now we're going to stats and for best, if we go by ratings or by stars, let's look at both. So if we just do it by average and not maximum, and we go by attack. Yeah, there you go, look, Ifly. They might get less chances, but compared to my attack, they're going to score. They got 32. And again, down here, stars wise, 18.5 to my 13.5. That's where they're getting it. I mean, I probably would dominate him for midfield by four points there. And star wise, maybe they've got better form than me uh, throughout the season so far. I don't know, probably. Defense, where we sit in defense, we're sitting fifth in defense, fifth in attack, third in midfield, fifth in defense, fifth overall. So for me to come fifth, it's quite reasonable. I mean, we, we are very close to the Newark Rangers, but not enough, especially when you look at uh, stars are quite close as well. So we're catching, we are catching. And then if we look at for pat rating, which I've probably gone on about so much times, look, that it just shows we are catching before. I mean, fair play. Oh, I mean, New York Rangers has drifted off, but we are closing the gap. Good thing is we're we're pretty much on always on a rise, apart from a little dip there, don't know what happened there. But since I've started. I mean, we got relegated there. When we took over our team in Division 5, got relegated, and we had to do a big rebuild. But ever since I got the rebuild up and had my plan, you can see we've got better and better every season. As long as we've got growth, I think that is the key to this game to be successful. Financially, we are in a good position. Nearly 2 million. New thing now. Sponsors. So we're sponsored by Inner Peace. Just made up sponsor, which we get... 46,000 every week and we get 21,000 each league match played. Good on that. I'd, I'd like for sponsor. I love it. Shame that you can't see it on like the kit. Maybe in support that you can. I don't know. I don't have support. I used to have it. I think it's quite expensive for what it is now. Especially that it's a game that you play once a week and to pay what they're asking for. I just don't think it's worth it. To you, it might be. It might be worth it. If you want for full experience of it. I mean, why not? support the game i did have support a long time ago but yeah it just just wasn't for me the next couple of episodes is going to be about rebuilding my team to get us to break that top four it won't happen this season but next season it's got to happen next season it has to so i've got 18 youth players up for the moment in my team it's done by age so we just need to go down the bottom i think a lot of players are probably really old now i just gone over 18. i mean i want to keep my forward he's a 2.5 wing back let's get rid of him i'm not going to keep him look at his that's just not good enough to promote so sack I have a lot of this in youth and then now we can go and do a youth pool so i've got my little table which is in one of my other episodes if you want to have more information about youth players you can either search youth players hat trick and that'll bring you up some videos there's not many hat trick videos around on youtube or you can just jump back uh, to one of my earlier episodes. There's not that many on Hattrick, so you might as well just watch the whole series, right? What we got? 16, poor, inadequate. You got my table. So that's a B and that's nothing. So I'm going to risk it and move on. So next one. 15, nice. In football terms of pulling youth players, you want them as young as possible. Poor, weak. Now I'm going to risk it. And we go to the last one here, 16. Again, it was just like the first one, poor, inadequate. And we're going to take him because we want to recycle that pool. And then matches for us, I need to set up my team for the league. We will do that now. Got, got injuries, got suspensions, just really bad time. Um, who uh, should really check you on playing? So Helix. And we go to the league. Bit top, bit top. They haven't lost, and just gonna have to play with a rubbish bench. So literally got a bench of three wing back, which we don't do wing backs. I'm gonna just put them in their best positions: winger and play, uh, and a in a midfielder and a goalie. And I'm also gonna play it cool in team attitude to try and boost up my morale. Right, so we've sorted out our youth team, we've set a match, play it cool. We're going to lose, but we want to get that uh, team spirit up. 
and if we can uh, again we can plan so play it cool play it cool again play it cool again and then really go out on Newark Rangers and try and get for win two wins in a row could be nice there so what's that so let's plan this three six nine twelve points so that is 21 what did we get last season 15 a bit of six point increase but still maybe not enough to get to, uh, into a four this is my excel spreadsheet he's my best player he's on a playmaking 15 i could probably sell him 16k massive on wages look at f1 else he's on huge wages so transfer history we bought him for 3k and now he's worth three million so i could sell i could sell him bring in some more money to make better improvements to my team now where would those improvements lie is it youth invest in my youth again or because at the moment what well, i have i've achieved pretty much where i wanted to achieve in getting my first teamers with a key core key core stat in double digits so goalie 10 three center backs 13 11 11 my midfielders 12 12 11 12 15 12 11 12 and then my scorers 11 and 11 so i've achieved that so what what's next what's next for me now i think i did say on my last video you can correct me if i'm wrong but i think i was looking at doing training cycles and investing in that to really really get this just a set of core players even if it's five i don't have five now actually uh because patrick ludwig has got that 10 in playmaking and he's still quite young so these five players we could do a cycle of training and i believe that i was going to do defensive for a season go five up for back and then play three up top so i was going to do for core of playmaking defensive and scoring and just do cycles so do one uh one season two seasons one season two seasons you know like one two one two one well, oh no would i do that one two one one two one one two one one two one and i was going to build up players like that so i, I think i need to wait for the season to finish and start at the beginning of the season so with that in mind and i don't think buying for players will cost me that much i think my first call of duty is gonna be get rid of this one thank you for watching this video if you enjoyed it please leave a like if you would like to watch more videos like this please subscribe and to be notified click on the bell